Did you not hear my question? I, I've been feeling unlike myself the better part of today. Carmel says she isn't herself. And my husband. Oh, oh God. <laughs> microdosing? What are you microdosing us with? Psilocybin. Magic mushrooms. Oh, my God. <gasps> You're giving. Long That's not time. the fucking point, OK? The point is you can't give illegal drugs out to people without consent. But you arrived here on drugs, Tony. You're still on drugs. You're just not on Oxycontin. You're on, you're on psilocybin. We've been swapping it out for two days now. I was feeling, I was feeling oxy withdrawals this morning. Mm -hmm. Some, but less. And how do you feel? Right now, because you're not on Oxy. Had you got some balls shaming me about some wine and a couple of Kit Kats, all the while you're dosing us with psychedelics? I mean, look, I'm no angel. You know, I had a few cocaine nights in the 90s, but who didn't? I didn't! Wow. You're going with the old unprecedented times defense? Okay, um, I gotta say, girl, you, you're a real kick in the pants. I didn't see it coming. I'm gonna go to my car and get the bottle of Tito's that I hid in my trunk. Mm -hmm. And the best part, you're not going to say anything about it. No. Not a word, right? What the fuck would she say? Nothing. It's just not good. You know, some of us came here with drug histories, genetic predispositions. We did your blood work when you checked in. We know your medical history. I don't care, Yao. You can't just keep a secret like that from us. Mm. So you came here as desperate people. You are. Mm. Are there drugs in here? Because I want them. Mosh is currently evaluating your protocol. So is that enough? For the record, because I've been feeling. Here's to the new Timothy Leary. <laughs> All right, let's go through today's schedule. Corey will be leaving the town south for. Hey. No. Wow. Yeah. You, you okay? Verdict's still out. Not exactly sure how I thought I was going to teach Masha a lesson by drinking most of my trunk Tito's, but in the heat of the moment, it seemed like a fine idea. Hey, you, so you're okay with this, right? This, this drugging? Uh, I certainly don't agree with the lack of consent, but I mean, most of us came here searching for desperate measures, and I mean, look at you. What, well, me, me what? What about me? Oh boy. Oh. When you arrived, you were kind of a complete jackass, no offense. Oh. And I have witnessed you becoming less complete in that area. So my vote is give this thing a shot, you know, and open up a new door. Some doors are meant to stay closed. You know what I mean? Yeah, it could be a real shit show. What the hell do I know, right? Now, who would like to begin? Francis. Francis? Great. <clears throat> you can come get the sword. That's bit, okay, I don't need the sword. Come on. Be brave. Oh, come on. Yes, someone's got to be first. Come on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Kendo is going to take on a few different forms today, but let's start with the universal he, him by whom we are judged, dismissed, used, abused, abandoned. Wow. I have to admit that's a terrible Tinder profile. And they want specific come to mind? Not really, I know. It's hard to narrow it down. So many schmucks to choose from. No jokes, Francis. Come on, stay in the pain. Come on, Francis. Pick somebody. How about me? I'm here. Ari has been in a car accident. Ari has How can I help? What can I do? I'm sorry, but I, I would never do this, but I could really use a little help financially. I don't want him to care. Why not? See her. You really hurt me. How? 
Hmm? Be specific. <sighs> you know I went and checked out schools for Ari. Do you know that? I went to PTA meetings and I, I sat with all those parents and I, I talked about my family. I wanted it all set up when you arrived, but you never, you never arrived, and you're never gonna arrive. You, you said we'd raise Ari together, and you kept saying to me over and over I was gonna, I was gonna, gonna be a mom. And you took that from me, and I can't get it back. You took my money, you took my confidence, so fuck you for lying. And fuck you for being garbage. <laughs> fuck you for not loving me. Come on. Buy your beer. Oh, look, I get that all the time, pal. I'm not the guy. Come on. You can't be bothered to talk to me? What are you trying to say? I'm having a drink, okay? I'm having a rough few days. That's why I'm at the bar by myself. You know, you should be grateful. The only reason I remember you at all is because your story's so pathetic. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, over overrated game. Yeah. Fuck. Oh. 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 She's crazy, Francis. She's drugging us. She's giving us swords and shit. What is going on? Nothing. You know, I hate to point out the obvious, but you know, you did try to kill me with a grape and almost drown me with a cannonball. And we have shared history here. Okay, wait, hey. Okay. I'm just saying you can talk to me. It's nothing, it's just the violence here, okay? It's, it, I'm not comfortable with it. She's fucking with me. Asking if any of us are capable of killing somebody she knows. Knows what? That you're a killer? I was just sitting in a bar like a year after I left the game. This drunk guy just, just comes up and starts fucking with me. You know, that's the thing. Drunk guys fucking with athletes in bars. You know, they want to impress their drunk buddies. We fought. He went down, and he never got up. They took him to the hospital, bleeding in the brain from hitting his head on the ground. Yeah, he died six days later. I don't know what to say. I, um, did you get in trouble, or did you, I mean, did you get charged? Oh, there were witnesses there, just so that I didn't start it, you know. I didn't mean. To. I don't. Follow, I don't know. What, I don't follow sports, or I just. Uh, I they buried know. it in the paper the day after. And when he died a week later, they. I barely mentioned it, drips and drabs, you know. But, I mean, before social media, so. Thank God, huh? It doesn't matter, though. I, I killed him. Uh, 
He had a mother, Francis. He had a father, you know, a wife. He had a little sister. I killed him. No made him dead. Fuck. Uh, Is that why you're here? I don't know why the fuck I'm here, Francis. I'm a... I'm a drug addict. I got two kids that don't talk to me. I got a career that ended in a blink. Why am I here? I got nowhere else to go. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Birthday. Yeah. If all goes well, I'll be celebrating by doing drugs with my parents. <sighs> What'd you do for yours? Uh, not that. <laughs> yeah. And I think you all had a splendid day. <laughs> you can do it. I, I'll drink to that. Bye. Yeah.